just want to let you know that we're also on brighteon.com. You can find our channel there. So as part of our moving out of the country, we decided we would get some new phones to make sure that we could use them to keep in touch with each other while we're traveling around El Salvador, as well as make sure that we can each have a Bitcoin wallet on our phones, especially the kids, so they could buy things. So we have clearly got stock in Yuli phone <laughs> because that's what we have here. We have this Note 17 by Yuli phone and then we have some armored ones for the kids and that's the Power Armor. That's the 16S and then we have the 21 and the 22 and they actually have uh, an adapter. The 16 and the 22 or maybe it's the 21. They have the adapter for the microscope. So we got one microscope to go with it. And then my husband, he went rogue and he got this other one over here <laughs> a very tiny he wanted a really really tiny phone show them the phone hmm? show them how small this phone is hmm. a tiny little phone it's great it's a thick phone but very tiny handheld you know okay. just fits in the palm of your hand so that's what we have so now we're going to do an unboxing this is the 16 power armor 16. now we had this one out oh, suction cup there uh, we had this one out the other day to look at it because we weren't sure, you know, it's a big phone. We weren't sure it was going to be right, but we don't want something too flimsy for the kids. And it is a big phone. It's a little bit bigger than my iPhone, which I'm filming this with. <laughs> my iPhone uh, 11 I have there. Uh, but it's definitely thicker. Even with my case on, it's still probably another half phone size bigger than, thicker than mine. And it, it is hefty. So, it's also rugged, which is what we want for the boys. Of course, it comes with all your manuals and stuff like that. But it also comes with a tempered glass protector sheet. So, we'll put that on. And, of course, the adapter cable end has a lanyard. So that when, uh, you know, the boys are going out or whatever, I think we might be able to attach a carabiner to this or make a, a lanyard like this that's a bit shorter that just has the carabiner on it. I might get my uh, craft supplies out and, you know, master craft something there for that. But the temper glass, of course, that's key. And having a phone that's, this is even waterproof, so it's quite rugged. I'll read the specs here. Um, and it's the you know, IP68 and IP69K proof. I think that's to do with the waterproofing from what I saw from the ads. Has a built-in flashlight. So this one actually has a flashlight up here. Um, my husband has that little one that has a flashlight at the back. And they have a thicker one. Uh, a bigger one than this even thicker and everything which we decided not to go with because it was heavier but the whole back of it was a flashlight this one the back of it's a great big very loud 122 decibel speaker so that's the next thing on here it has 128 uh, gigs of rom and it's 5.93 inch screen 50 megapixel camera on the back and two megapixel on the oh there's two on the back sorry they're both uh 50 and 2 megapixel the two cameras that are on the back i'll flip it over here and there's a, you can see there's a camera on each side here. This is the main camera, it says right here. And then this one is the macro camera on that side. And what else it says here about the battery? This is a big part of this phone is a 9600 milliamp battery. That's why we wanted this one in particular because it's gonna last a while if the kids don't charge it or if I'm trying to reach them and they've been on gone all day, I can still uh, track them down, you know? Also NFC, like I said, I want them to each have a little Bitcoin wallet on here so they can do some simple purchases when we move to El Salvador. So let me get this one started up. Okay, so these are the little booklets that come with it for charging, user manual, warranty, all that stuff, safety. Um, a thing on accessories, and that's actually how we knew about the microscope. It was uh, actually, I think it was advertised on Amazon also in the listing when we bought these. Of course, the cords, it also has a little key here for you to open up the SIM card slot. Um, I notice here, you know, if it's incompatible with our carrier, it talks about what to do there. Now, the kids do not have SIM cards here in Canada, and uh, so we're not going to worry about setting the SIM card stuff up with them right now. We're just going to set it up sort of like you do with a tablet. This is the connection for the uh, microscope. So that's kind of cool. I think you need to take, I think I read you take one of the screws off or something to then screw it onto that place, something like that. And there's a button here you can program to be whatever you want and, and this is where the SIM card goes I can't, can't really do it with one hand but this lifts up nope definitely not one-handed 
<laughs> that'll lift up and it goes in there. And this button here is the, the black one's the on-off. It has a fingerprint reader in it. And then the volume up and down right there. And of course the back, this is the, you know, the NFC strip, which is uh, for uh, paying. Also, this can come in um, a charging cradle. I've seen them uh, on one website. I'm not sure if I saw them on Amazon, but they're about 126 on the website. I'd seen some, but they might be cheaper on Amazon. I'd have to look. And then that's the slot where you can attach the lanyard or wrist strap. I wouldn't say it's a lanyard. You're not going to hang around your neck. But that's how it looks without the plastic on it. And I put the tempered glass on already. I uh, won't show you how I put that on because that was a uh, <laughs> a bit of work. Put it on. Oh no, it's a speck of dust already. Let's let's uh, pull it back and get I get the tape gun there and took a piece of tape and get the dust off it back and it's all great now. It looks fine. Of course, it's already full of fingerprints. So let me get it started. Okay, got it turned on. I was gonna put the lanyard in, but I'll, I'll do that in a minute because it says ah my screen went black. It says there's, there's system updates required. Okay, so I am not the Android person, so I'm going to click on that. And it tells me I need internet. Okay, so I have to set up my internet. And I will have to manage this update. I'll be back. Okay, well, that's on its way. I already had the, mm -hmm. the Wi-Fi in this phone because we had tried it out the other day. So that made that a little faster. But the other ones, uh, we just got these in the mail today. So... <laughs> Well, one came in yesterday, but I, I never opened the box other than to compare the size of the two phones because I got one for one boy, one for the other boy, and the older one is a little bit more into photography, so we got him one with a better camera uh, than the other one, but they're both rugged because we need to be able to handle drops and whatnot. Okay, well, that's going to take a minute. Okay, so this device is all ready to go. I got one of my son's accounts in here and uh has a new android 13 so be a learning experience for all of us and probably only he'll use his youtube at the bottom here but this is what it comes loaded with already so all your google apps that you need a few other things here widgets and your themes it's a service center button and uh yeah everything you kind of need right there I figured I should try out the speaker, see how loud it is. Of course, now it's gonna load. <laughs> Let's try and make it bigger here. ear shattering <laughs> it's goes so so incredibly loud so there we go that's how loud the phone can get 122 decibels so i don't think you could be that close to it if you have it on that loud okay next up is our armor 22 this box up oh, there we go da 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 the yuli phone i think this one and the other one had this box of stuff in the front where the one i just did did not have that there we go. There is the phone with all the specifications, the same IP68 and 69K proof. The MIL STD 810H certified. I'm not sure if the other one had that or not, I can't remember. Has an IR blaster so you can control some remotes there. Media talk, eight gigs of uh, RAM and 256 of ROM. This is the one with the better camera, I think. <laughs> I don't know which one this is now. Yeah, 64 megapixel camera, uh, two of them at the rear, and has 6,600 milliamp hours. And also, of course, NFC, Google Play, the whole bit, right? Let's grab the tab. This is, oh, this isn't actually for Annika, not Willem. This is Annika's new phone. So this one has a pretty good camera, too. I don't know what the other one is, then. So let's uh, get the stuff of the box. This one has... A little divider there and of course the charging cable and the brick are in there i think there's yeah there's a lanyard for this one also can go in there so this is the one that's a bit lighter i'm gonna set this one up for annika 
has the the camera thing and the cool thing in the back there and uh yeah this one's much thinner than the other one i guess i can put them it was hard to put them side by side because the other one has a big speaker underneath it so it's hard to do it face down and again i press that button <laughs> turn the flashlight on i don't know oh wait off on there we go it takes a second to react yeah so this one is definitely a little thinner than this one the right angle here so it's just a little bit thinner but also doesn't have the big speaker sticking out so just slightly thinner let me get it unwrapped here i got it out of the package so you can see that is definitely you know thinner by uh you know a couple of credit cards thick kind of thing and of course the speaker of course is truly what uh, sets it apart. So that's this one. And this one has the stickers going this way. It's kind of interesting. That one has stickers going that way. Okay, so let's open up what was in our little package here, uh, which is hard to do with one hand than you can possibly imagine. Okay, there we go. This one has the tempered glass inside the box. I can see it's right there. Tempered glass and the little sleeve. And then our little books are in here. So it's very similar to the other box, just uh, slightly you know, laid out differently. It has these two cardboard dividers in the box. And of course the foam is at the back here with the, the charging stuff. That's the same as the other one. And the manuals are here. So if you wanna learn about the differences between all these phones, you can go, go to the Uli Phone website and they'll explain the differences. But this one was a bit lighter, and for my daughter, she's only nine. We figured this is probably all she would need. It's it's not nearly as thick. It's a little bit more kind of like my phone I have on right on my hand right now than doing this video with my iPhone. Um, so it's not as heavy for her, but it's still like a large screen. I think screen size, these two are pretty much exact on, it feels like, yeah. feels like side to side, front to back, they're exactly the same except for the thickness, of course. But uh, the screen size is about the same, I would say. And the other one too, I think is very similar to this one. Um, but I thought there was, maybe there was one that was slightly smaller. I'd have to look at the specs specifically to see if there was one that was, uh, I thought one was 5.93 and the other ones were, or one other one was six or something like that. I can't remember. Anyway, I'm going to get this one started up and we'll get the software update probably on this one as well as the other one. And we'll get them uh, tempered glass put on and get it all ready. Okay, I pressed the button to start this phone up. We got the lanyard attached. That was uh, a tricky bit there, getting us through that little hole. Ooh, hi there. Okay, let's start. English. Uh, connected to mobile. I'm going to have to do a little settings here. We don't have a SIM card for it, so I'm going to go skip. And I'm going to put the Wi-Fi stuff in. Okay, so I just put the Wi-Fi password in for one of the routers. And it's doing its magic. So this phone cannot hook up to the um, microscope because it doesn't have that same connector on the side. It does have one of these magic buttons that I probably won't set up as a flashlight. The front of it here has the headphones. I don't know what specifically that slot is. I'd have to look. If it is anything important, let me go look through the user manual. And the user manual says that that little green thing is nothing important. It doesn't have anything listed on that green thing at all. But the headphone jack is there, and then the IR controller is there. So if we have a TV or whatever, there's a little IR controller right there. TV or air conditioning unit or something. There's where the SIM card goes right there. And the bottom of this one has... The USB connector and the speaker right there. And the volume up and down and the on off switch. So that is this one. And it will be a few moments. So it asked me to copy from another phone, but I don't have another Android for my, it's for my daughter. All my kids have Apple tablets. I just noticed that the charger is the USB-C. So I have a double ended USB-C cable right here. And I was just looking at the package while it was doing its thing. 
and it mentions the the stuff at the back the 64 megapixel night vision camera the ir led and then the other side says razor no sorry rear flash and then the other 64 uh, that's the main camera so the main camera would be the one that's on the right and the other one's on the left so yeah it looks almost the same now what does it say we have to do some email and whatnot so i'll do that okay next up is the armor 21 and again it looks like the 22 with the paper at the top and it's in its case it has a speaker like the other one let's compare they look very similar the pattern of the holes is slightly different and let's pull it up it feels just as heavy this one says it also has the ip68 and ip69k proof 122 decibel speaker also has the ir remote like my daughter's phone does there it has the uh, same the MediaTek. I think the chip is the same in all of them. This one's eight gigs of RAM with 256 gigs of ROM. This is the 6.58 inch display. So I don't know if they're all exactly the same. I think one was 5.93 and two or 6.58, something like that. So this one has 64 megapixel camera and a 24 megapixel camera on the back. 96 milliamp hour batteries and a smart expansion connector which is the but that's for the microscope right there and they're all android 13 so let me get it out of the plastic so i pulled out the phone and it was similar to the other case with the very apple apple-esque you know has your little warning paper here has the charger and the cable this one the other one had the usb-c i'm pretty sure the first one I opened up was not um, the USB-C on this side. It wasn't double-ended. For sure it was the regular USB-A on that side. And then, so the red cable here. The red on all of them, but uh, I'm pretty sure the other one is not double-ended USB-C. I'd have to verify that. And again, the lanyard. So I have the other little cheat sheets here. I'll compare them all at the end. Um, and also with, we still got one phone left because I didn't open mine yet. So uh, let's get this turned on. So before I turn the phone on, I just want to, I'm sure this is all the same stuff as the other one. Has the little booklets. It has the little SIM key right there, as well as the tempered glass cover, which I strategically put on all of them. <laughs> I, I peeled this off but the first time I did it there was a speck of dust underneath it somehow it got on there so I, I used a piece of packing tape to clean the phone first before putting the tempered glass on I find the tempered glass is very well stuck to its base and I almost felt a little bit like I was going to break the glass peeling it off this very thick base that's on. I did not break it but it just felt like I might because it's so stuck on there so it's nice I like tempered glass I have it on all my phones every time but um, yeah, this, this is nice to keep it protected, but I still cleaned it before putting that on because the first time I end up with a speck of dust. So I gently pulled it back off and was able to put it back on without breaking it. And it's on. How the ends look. They all have the little ports covered up so that dirt and dust doesn't get in them. And uh, yeah, like I said, the speakers are slightly different. So this one has the, the better camera. I believe this camera is very similar to the best camera as well. I'd have to review the specs. We'll do that at the end to see what was the differences between them all. But they are all a little different. This is the 16S, the 22, 21, and this is the 22. I'm like, which one was this one I just did? Yeah, this was the 21 series, the one I just put the glass on. This one is actually easier to peel off. The other one for, for her phone, uh, this was much stiffer. It was hard to pull the glass off. It's actually quite quite rigid. So but anyway, it's not as not as hard as the other one was. So that's the three of them so far. And we're off. Start. Connect into the mobile network. Okay, I gotta do a little setting stuff. Uh, I don't have a SIM card, so we skip that part, but I gotta put the Wi-Fi in. 
Okay, the Wi-Fi is in there and now it's getting my phone ready. Okay, so just to compare, the 16S, the camera, that's the most important part for anyone into photography, is 50 megapixels in the rear and two megapixels. There's two cameras. Whereas the 21, it's 64 and 24. And in the 22 is 64 and 64. So this is what I gave my son who was interested in photography. The 16S is 96 milliamp battery hours, 96 milliamp battery hours in the 21, and 66 milliamp battery hours. So it's less milliamp hours in the one with the better camera. Now both the 20, both the 16 and the 22 have the very loud speaker, the 122 decibel speaker. And I don't see where it says it on here, but this one also has a 122 decibel speaker. This one just has a normal speaker. That's fine, it's for my daughter, don't want to break her ears. And this one has a built-in flashlight at the front where these ones just have it on where the flash is, where the camera is. They all have the NFC, even though this one doesn't particularly say it here. Um, it, 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 is, uh, it is there, even though it doesn't have it on the little icons. The screen size, this is 5.93 inches. And I think one of these, yeah, this one's a 6.58. I don't know if the 21, yeah, they're both, they're, yeah, these are both 6.58. And this one's 5.93. So, honestly, they all look very, very similar. You pull them up together. They all don't look... It's not noticeable. Totally not noticeable. This is the 128 gigabytes for the ROM. This one has 256 with the 8 gig RAM. This one also 256 with the 8 gig RAM. So, depending on what you're looking for. Um, I think the chip... This one has the Unisoc, where this one has the Helio, and that one has the Helio. So, the 16S has the different one. And they all have that IP68 and 69K proof on all of them. These two do the infrared blaster, so they could act as a remote control for, you know, a TV or another device. And uh, they're all Android 13. So that's sort of the, uh, the summary of those three phones for my kids. Okay, and time for Mommy's phone. It reminds me very much, it looks just like an iPhone. <laughs> I'm not sure if Apple copied them or they copied Apple, but I kind of thought Apple's around first. So again with the booklets, oh, and and more up top, it definitely feels heavier. And the notice of if your SIM card doesn't work, do this first. And if I can grab the little tab here, lift up the not as heavy phone for sure. It's very much like my iPhone I'm using right now as far as size wise. But you can see it's not really thicker than an iPhone. And about the same size, I will actually put it on this phone and compare it. Maybe slightly skinnier than my iPhone, but it's definitely longer than my iPhone. It has a nice camera in the back here. And actually this stuff. Let's open this up. This one doesn't have the, uh, the screen comparison. So I won't be able to stick it under the table with the rest, but uh, as you can see, it shows you what the buttons are, power key, volume key, and it has the in-display fingerprint sensor. That's interesting. It has the Type-C um, charger, and then there's a, a, your card slots down here, and this side is nothing, nothing on the side it looks like. And in the box, of course, we have the charger. This also looks like it's the double-ended C. It is. So, I don't know if that's bigger than the other ones or not. Let's compare. They look to be the exact same size as the other ones. They're all the same charging end with the red uh, double-ended USB-C cable. Okay, let's open this up because this definitely has more in it. it. has our booklets, of course. To have all the little booklets. But this one comes with its own little silicone case. This one does not have um, tempered glass with it, which is a shame because I absolutely love tempered glass. So I'll take this out. This is, um, I believe it's just a clear case for it. Yeah, it just has a clear case. 
I had one of these one time. It turned so yellow. My white phone already looked like it was gold. But I actually bought um, just one of these card card cases. You can put credit cards and stuff in it. And it has a little kickstand and you can close it up like a wallet. So I bought one of these off of Amazon to go with it. Because I thought this wasn't going to be quite enough to protect my phone. Especially now that I realize there's no tempered glass with it. I definitely want a little bit more protection for the screen. So I'm glad I got the other case. So I took it out of the plastic and it's got an iridescent sparkly shell to it and there it is already fingerprints <laughs> already my fingerprints are on it and i actually do have a sim card to put in these from mel salvador so i will be putting that in the little slot there okay so this is my new case it's already got dust in it um i just opened it up and i'm going to put my phone inside it Hey, I just pressed the on button until it did a little jiggle, and here it is, loading up. I did put my Salvadorian SIM card in this one. I took it out of my phone, put it in here because my phone also has a virtual Canadian SIM card. It only had the one slot, so I did virtual Canadian, and then I did um, the real SIM card is the Salvadorian one. So, uh, oh, yes, it already switched to Spanish on me. Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> it must have read the SIM card. <laughs> Terrifying. Oh no. How do I go back? <laughs> My Spanish is not good. Oh no. <laughs> I was trying to fool me, wasn't it? There we go. <laughs> okay, let me get the Wi Fi information in there where I get started. Okay, I got the Wi Fi. Now we're getting the phone ready. And it may take a few minutes. I think uh, Lawrence's phone was the only one that needed an update. Everyone else had the latest. Um, and we only got his phone, what? A week ago but the other ones just came in today so today they came in i guess they i don't know they had the latest and greatest and lawrence's was a little bit you know behind maybe a an update or two okay we're skipping the copy apps and data because i'm not getting it from another device since i have a okay. iphone and now i'm going to an android which you know i realize is not that different after doing the three kids phones it isn't that different to use they they've They've copied off of Apple, I'm sure. Okay, I put my email address in there, and now it's getting my account information. Okay, so I'm setting up the fingerprint part. It does say there's a protective film already on this phone, and not to put anything else on it. So that's important to note. Since I was complaining there was no tempered glass for it, it actually has a very beveled edge. It really can't take a protective uh, piece of uh, tempered glass because it would not round over, and it would get caught on stuff all the time. Um, because unless the case it's in uh, helps cover the edge of your, your uh, actual temper glass, it would definitely would get caught in stuff and lift up on you. So while we're waiting for that update, I'm going to open the microscope. That's how it comes. In a bag, and there's a stand here, it looks like. And the microscope there as well as oh that's the screwdriver with the little screw i did say it looked like from the video i'd seen that you had to um unscrew uh one of these screws here so that you could screw on the microscope so that's the two screws and the little screwdriver there and there is a little it's gonna be impossible to see maybe i want the white a microscope micrometer calibration ruler cool there's a qr code and a user manual and the little stand here like that so it's metal at the bottom and a little plastic at the top here and then the actual microscope I'm going to have to open this. No, the bag is open at that end. There we go. So that is it. Open. It says, open it. <laughs> and this is, I guess, to adjust. And then that's the connector that goes into the phone. Oh yeah, that's a big screw that's going to go into one of those screw holes. 
I guess it's, I assume it's just the one screw hole. Maybe they give extra screws in case you lose one and take it out. And that's that. So we'll give that a try in a bit too once the phone is up and running. And uh, yeah, that's what's in that box. It's like Christmas here. I just popped it onto the stand here. There's a groove and the there's a groove inside the plastic. So that gives it like the little micro soap stand and you put something underneath to have a look at it. That'll be a lot of fun, I think, for the kids also for, I don't know, some cool things in a new country. I'm sure there's insects and leaves and bugs and of all kinds to, you know, look at. Or just even look at the cats up close and personal. Right, Orange Man? So we are trying to learn how to use the microscope. We need to get the Use Smart Camera app on the phone first. So we're looking for that. There was a little QR code here. And, uh, but we have it plugged into one of the phones. See the lights on on the microscope already. Okay, so we have the microscope yeah. set up right now. Small text. On the camera, so we got some small text in that battery there that's gonna adjust the... Uh, How do you adjust it? What button? You gotta you do the, closer. You gotta do closer on the... Uh, you gotta twist it, right? No. What is it? Go closer. Oh yeah, the the rolling. Uh, oh, you gotta move it closer. You gotta move it closer. Okay, and you get the rolling thing on the microscope itself yeah. to zoom in and zoom out part. Because right now it's very blurry. It's very magnified. <laughs> oh, there we go. Some small text. Yeah, it reads upside down. Yeah. It reads upside down because the phone is upside down. <laughs> You phone goes in both both directions, right? <laughs> you can change the, the thing, right? There we go. So, so yeah. that's the microscope reading some small text on that battery. Cool stuff. We can do a lot of uh, experimentation with this, I think. Mm -hmm. With all kinds of little things. Yeah. Great. Don't forget to hit the like button.